So one last time, let me go ahead and explain what happens because, wow, this is this uh, diagram got very confusing very quick. Basically, let me go ahead and pick white. Basically, we start with NADH, which is an electron carrying molecule. It's going to give its electrons to NADH dehydrogenase. Now, as this happens, per electron, one hydrogen ion is going to be pumped out to the other side of the membrane, which is the inner membrane. Now, now what we basically have is the electro electrons inside your NADH dehydrogenase, and they want to get over to the cytochrome BC1. So in order to do that, they need to take the bus called ubiquinine. Now ubiquinine shuttles them over from the NADH dehydrogenase to the cytochrome BC1. Now once they're in the cytochrome BC1, two more hydrogen ions are going to get shuttled outside the matrix, outside the inner membrane. So now we have electrons in the cytochrome BC1. What happens now is they want to go over to the cytochrome oxidase. So what happens is the cytochrome C, which is the bus, takes them one at a time, this is important actually, one at a time back and forth taking passengers from the cytochrome BC1 to the cytochrome oxidase. So now in here, once it has four electrons, what it's gonna do is it's gonna grab an oxygen from the environment and eight of these hydrogen ions and it's gonna combine them all together in a weird recipe and you end up with your final product which is two water molecules. Now after it's done baking that recipe, it has a couple ingredients left over and those ingredients are four more hydrogen ions so it just spits them out right here. So obviously, through the spitting out or transferring of ions from one side to the other, we end up with a very, I don't know, a gradient. A lot of hydrogen ions over here and not so many over here. So, you know, you may think this is a bad thing, but another molecule called ATP synthase is actually going to take advantage of this gradient. What it's going to do is it's going to be aware that whenever you have a gradient, there's energy that can be created. So it's going to take these ions one by one and use them to spin the turbine by shuttling them in, shuttling them out. Whenever they enter and exit, it, it creates basically, literally, a spinning motion. Now spinning, just like a turbine, creates energy, and it's energy that the bottom half of the ATP synthase molecule can use. So whenever this gets enough energy from these ions, it can take an ADP, and a phosphate from the matrix and it could crash them in together because it takes energy to combine molecules together. So it's going to take these two molecules and crash them together to form ATP. Now just remember that we don't just have one NADH here. Through the process of cellular respiration we made a lot of NADHs so this NADH is going to make a crap load of ATP and there you go, there is your basic summary of electron transport chain. So guys, pat yourself on the back, congratulations, you now understand cellular respiration and how your body breaks down glucose to ultimately form a crap load of ATP.